What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and today's video we're going to go over negative keyword lists. Um, this is really important, especially if you're just starting out with your own AdWords agency or if you're a business, business owner starting out building campaigns for your business to get more leads and calls. Um, this is a step you definitely want to invest the time to take. So if you log into your AdWords account, we're in our white label PPC campaign, how you're going to build your first negative list. I'm not going to go through how to find the keywords. You can go through the channel and find um, how to find negative keywords. I have a ton of videos on that. I'm going to show you how to actually create a list today and then add that list to a campaign. All right, so if we go up to tools and settings, I'm going to come down here to negative keyword lists. You can see I have two right here. <clears throat> so you basically want to create a master list yourself for your own uh, niche or whatever space you're in. So you just hit the blue plus, name it, just say, uh, you know, whatever, general list, or you can do states and do all the all the states you don't want to have keyword show for, stuff like that. A lot of people do that. But for a general list, we do stuff like billing college degree certificate stuff like this this stuff that Google will show and try and tack on to the end of your keywords if you're doing like um, broad match modified keywords or broad keywords stuff like that this is all stuff that you'll get it's, it's total garbage but that's just how they operate so uh, billing college degree certificate uh, tool I mean keep in mind this is dependent on what your campaign is about what you're going after these are just a generic I don't want any if my if a keyword has any of this tagged into it at some point for my white label campaign I don't want anything to do with this so I'm telling Google right away I don't want my ads to show if this if any of these keywords are anywhere in uh, my list or my campaign all right so we'll just do that for now save so we got our general list now we're gonna go back to our campaign let's find the white label campaign Give me a second here. Too much stuff going on. All right, in our white label campaign, we'll come down to keywords, negative keywords. And you can see here, we already have a bunch in here. Hit the plus, use negative keyword list, and just choose the list. Save. That's it. That's all you gotta do. So that's how you create the list and add them into your campaigns. Um, obviously, you want to be extremely detailed with as many negatives as possible because that's only going to help your campaign in the long run. So try and really put some thought into building your list out. Use the uh, keyword planner to build your list. And you know what? I guess I can real quick. We can jump over. All right. So I'll show you how to find negative keywords really quick. So uh, how I do it is I type in our main keyword first. So for this, it's white label PPC. And then this is telling, so what you're seeing right now is Google, I gotta move this over. Ah, it's not letting me move it over. All right, all right, never mind. All right, so let's go back. White label, PPC. All right, so you're, what you're seeing right now, all these keywords are what Google thinks are related to your main theme of your campaign, which for us is white label PPC. Now, there's always gonna be stuff that is not related um like let's see here well actually this is pretty good all right so let's try something different we'll try ppc there we go all right let's see what we got here all right so i don't know what this is presto zon so that's something that i would take that google's telling me that's related to ppc I'm going after white label PPC, so I'm going to take this because it's not related to what we want, and I'm going to add that to my negative keyword list. I'll keep scrolling. Here's another one, Amazon sponsored ads. I'm going to take that, add that to my negative keyword list. Remember, this is what Google thinks is related to what you're going after. And you're going to keep scrolling down. PPC scope, we're going to take that, we're going to add that to a negative list. Facebook PPC, we're going to take that, add it to a negative list. PPC Protect, we're going to take that, we'll add that. So you get the idea. You go down as long as you can. There's 370 suggestions here. So I would get, I would go down to all, all of them. Go through every page and start adding them to your to your net, your net master negative list. So if if you so we're going after white level PPC. Obviously, you saw that. It didn't pull up that much garbage, probably because it's such a small niche. 
So I went broader with PPC. But let's say you're you're a plumber or something like that, or your client's a plumber, you're gonna have a ton of keywords to sort through and find negatives. Keep scrolling down. Superior Plumbing, that's probably somebody's brand. Anderson Plumbing, Home Depot Plumbing. So that's what you're going to do. You're just going to scroll down and you can see there's 466 suggestions. You're going to have to, if you want to do it right, go through every page and just add them all because Google's not messing around. If they think, if your campaign's about being a plumber and providing plumbing services and your main keyword is plumbing, plumber, this is what they're going to show your ads for. If you're doing, you know, f phrase modified broad or broad. You could get stuff like this tacked into your keywords and pay for it. And they're not expect I mean, they're not cheap clicks. It's going to be like $25 a click in some of these. And you're going to burn money. So just keep in mind to do as many of these as you can. All right. Hope that answers your questions. Hope that you guys is useful for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you need white label PPC services, visit us at clicksgeek.com. Also, check out the description of this video. I dropped a few links in there for you guys, including uh, a link to our private Facebook group and one to our Google Ads training course. Again, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Besides that, I'll catch you guys later.